All right, we are flying the Catalina. Catalina is like kind of a classic. Yeah. It's actually been sold by quite a few different people, but there's always been this same Catalina like in the hobby for a while yeah. now. And you actually used to have one. Yeah, my dad actually had one and it was back then and we got it from Nitro Planes and we saw it online. We actually saw it from Motion RC. And one thing we love doing is not only checking on different planes, but also different manufacturers, different companies. Let me tell you the, the customer experience from Motion RC was like nothing else. They even called us a couple days later, not knowing who we were. Cause Austin ordered it without telling anybody. Yeah. After it was delivered, he got a call from their customer service just saying, hey, we saw your package arrived. Is everything okay? Do you have any questions? Is there anything I can do to help you set it up? Like I'd never that's, seen any kind of customer service That's like a whole that. nother level. So. It's pretty cool. So yeah. definitely shout out to Motion RC for that. I don't know about you guys, but I love Catalinas. It's a beautiful plane. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in the air first experience, see how yes. she flies. And uh, we don't have water, but we do have snow. Do you want to do the Maiden since you've never flown it? Well, I don't know. Is there anything tricky about it? No, it flies like an airplane. Okay. You may. <laughs> the one thing with this, my dad's actually, he had to fly a rudder and aileron together. It had a, had a coupling issue. Nothing you can't handle, but let's see if it's the same. And if it is, we'll show you how to fix that. It seems like smooth out of the box. So we got yeah. Expo in here, it looks like. Yeah, I put Expo in it. Everything. What, man? You really set it up. Well, Bob did. <laughs> <laughs> I just put Expo in here. All right, the whole thing. here goes nothing. All right, watch out for the big hill. Take one. Oh, I like it. You're committing right towards the hill. That's really cool. So I was expecting it to have like quite a bit more power no. and not fly as scale, but it honestly, like, it's it's a lot slower than I was expecting. Yeah. It's a nice speed for that's, a Catalina. That's scale, man. Yeah, it is. So they actually gave me two sets of props and I've never seen these props before. The uh, the Nitro Planes one that I built actually had GWS props on it. Really poorly made props. Yeah, these, these are, seem smooth. These are a lot bigger, but also they're a lot flatter too. You can tell yeah. it's a real docile pitch. How's it feel? Oh my gosh, dude. I'm, I'm honestly surprised. The build is a little bit more intense than your yeah. typical foamy, yeah. out of the box ARFs. You're yeah. not you're not gonna be able to start your battery on charge and be ready to fly by the time it's done. There is assembly, there's gluing, there's screwing things together. Uh, but all in all, it's not that difficult. The instructions are pretty good. Dude, I can't wait to fly this off the water. It's gonna be cool. It's the great speed. I was expecting it to be a little bit hotter than it really is, yeah. and it's it's nice and slow. Yeah, it's not a rocket ship at all. Which is exactly so, like the yeah. real Catalina. Yeah. So speaking of Catalinas, the history behind the Catalina is pretty special. They use this for so many different things from reconnaissance to search and rescue. Uh, this plane even was turned in after the war into flying luxury yachts. Yeah. So it has quite an awesome history to it, it too. It does, and there's still people that fly them today, yep. both in the original military form and kind of like a flying yacht kind it's of such deal. a unique looking airplane too. All right, let's see how it stalls. I'm gonna take it up. Oh, yeah, it tips, yep. definitely. It feels like the wings just have a lot of momentum because they're so <laughs> long. You get those things rocking, they, yeah. they just don't want to stop. And one thing you do have is both the props are the same style props. In other words, it's not counter-rotating. They're both spinning yep. in conventional directions. You can definitely feel that, you can feel that torque. So yeah. when, I, when my airspeed slows down and I pull back on the stick and I give it a little bit of throttle, yeah. um, it does want to torque over to the left a little bit. Hey, do a touch and go. But it's not, it's not terribly unmanageable. Okay, I'll set up a touch and go. I like also with this, they put a plastic hull on. Oh, oh, yep, oh, oh, gotta keep that speed going. That was the torque. I almost, I almost <laughs> blew it. Yeah, you definitely gotta fly the wing. You yeah. Know? Well, honestly, I don't think I've ever flown a twin engine that's not counter rotating props. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Thread the needle. Well, there it is. <laughs> Tokyo drift. <laughs> That's what I so, call that maneuver. So one thing you're gonna find is you have a lot of a lot of weight down low. Mm -hmm. You know where the hall is, and you got the props up here, both spinning in the same direction. Did you notice when you gave it throttle, it actually torqued yeah. over, especially at low speeds. It made yeah. the wing want to exaggerate. You definitely got to be careful, especially when you slow down your airspeed. Yeah. But overall, I mean, I, I was honestly impressed with with how well it did for being such an inexpensive kit. Yeah. Uh, for being a model design that's been around for so long, I wasn't expecting it to fly as well as it did. I think the testimony to why it's been around so long is because they all fly so good. Yeah. So Alex and I were talking here, and it does have something called adverse yawn. Like I've noticed it a lot on planes like this that have really long wings with ailerons way way out on the side if you go up and you're used to banking yank planes rather than your roll being like this it's kind of like uh yeah it kind of tilts because it's giving you a little bit of yaw it's kind of it just gives it a little bit of a weird feeling and this is a great way to counteract that so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go down to mixing and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to dial in a new mix i'm going to go to normal aileron to rudder and i like to look for my rudder to start moving Oh, yeah, there it goes. 
All right, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this up to maybe about 30%. So now what you'll see here is if you look at the actual controls, when I give rudder, it's actually moving the rudder just a little bit over. So it's basically a coordinated turn. Yep, it's making an automatic coordinated turn for you. Go over to this side. We'll take that up to 30%. So you're not gonna really notice it too much on the ground, but when you're flying in the air, that little bit of extra rudder is gonna help you fly basically with one stick. Yes. If you guys are practicing coordinated turns, just imagine there's a fixed measurement between these sticks and that you're moving them together. Just move them in parallel. It's kind of like flying a quad. Yep. All right, let's put it in the air. <laughs> it's a little sketchy on this it, ice. It is. Because that, that uh, hull just like digs in. It's like an ice skate. <laughs> yeah. Dude, look, look what a difference it is now. Yeah. So I'm flying with one pan now. And when I turn, you can see that that nose is following the turn, not fighting the turn. So basically, and, until you get good at manually flying your coordinated turns, this is a great way to have success and get out there and have that early win with your plane uh, without having to worry about crashing it. And then as you get more comfortable, you can slowly dial back that mix that Josh just programmed and yeah. slowly learn to do the coordinated turns on your own. Yep. Now one thing, if you turn to the right, you need more rudder than if you turn to the left because you're fighting the torque. The cool thing about this, you can go into that mix and you can actually proportionally adjust it both directions. It didn't come with any counter-rotating props, but if we were able to find some props that would work with these motors, we could easily go in and reverse the direction of one motor and it would completely eliminate that torque in the motor. Now you still would have to deal with adverse yaw though. Yes, you'd still have to deal with the adverse yaw because that's on the wing. Whoa, that was terrible. <laughs> that was horrible. I was getting ready for a nice soft touch and go and it was not. I think this would be cool for FPV too. It would be. Without any you know, props in the shot. I'm going to land this. Bob put so much energy into doing this. I want him to finish off the flight. It is a beautiful it looks awesome, dude. Ooh, nice, dude. There we go. <laughs> nice, Tokyo Drift. Hey, Bob, Killing it. you want to fly it? Bob Lou coming awesome. in. So you can definitely count us in the future flying something like this off of water. Maybe yes. it'll be a bigger version, a different model. Yeah. But the Catalina is very iconic. We're definitely going to be revisiting this airframe. All right, Bob, your turn. It needs a lot of power. Bob has been a near and dear part of flight test yes. for so many years now. And one reason why we get the opportunity to fly so many different planes so often is because Bob is oftentimes in the background assembling for us, tuning for us. Yes. In he's, fact, he's, he's setting up something right now that we're super excited about. Yes. Uh, it's uh, the big ultra stick gas motor. So for those of you guys that have been asking for gas content on gas airplanes, it's coming. we, we got it coming your way. We got a lot of balsa, we got a lot of gas, we got a lot of build-up models coming yes. in 2018, and we're really excited to share that with you. So what do you think, Bob? Not bad. Well, friends, we want to thank you for watching. Thank you so much for being part of the Flight Test family. If you'd like to see this content, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. We'll be sure to check out more designs and share the experience with you. We'll see you next time. See you guys.